Good morning. I'm already out of breath, heading out of San Curico. Uh, it is cold. It's about 12 degrees. Uh, little droplets of rain. And uh, we've been faced with 15% incline already. Today is going to be hard. 32 kilometers, mostly climbing to Radakofani. And uh, yeah, rain is in the forecast. It's about 40%. So cold and rain, no wind yet. Uh, the roads are cool. Puddles here and there. But otherwise, for now, getting warmed up for the day. It's going to be a long day. Hopefully we can see some hot springs along the way. Adiam. Let's go. Giddy up. It's got our first glimpse of uh, the castle of Vignoni or the fortress uh, where the hot springs are. They apparently are not so hot. There it is on the hill. That's where we got it. Bagna Vignoni in the rain and <coughs> the steam coming off the spring water and the hot springs as you can see coming into this town square we're going to walk down the mountain and see what's going on there because they say people can swim there but we were told that it's cold but this looks like a hut. Lacquer. though we have to climb for it but that's okay There's clouds in the sky, there's a thermal spring with water coming in from the top. I've uh, 
haven't tested the water yet. I haven't even put my foot in, but I've taken my clothes off and we're going to try this thing. So, uh, yeah, wish us luck. Prunkan is getting ready. <laughs> and then we're gonna check it out. It's fuel. Ah, It's freezing cold. <laughs> it's bloody freezing. Damn it. <laughs> all lies. It's all lies. Cold water swimming. Okie dokie. Well, here we go. I'm going to try this thing. <laughs> I was told that it's got healing qualities. Maybe. Maybe I get healed. It's definitely not hot. Um, it's not even lukewarm. It's not even Luke, I'm your father. Um, but we're going to try and see if it's got healing properties. So uh, let's get it on. Oh my God! I'm freezing! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's warmer to that oh side, Frank. Oh my gosh! Huh? Oh no. <laughs> Just... Oh my God! I'm going to. We're going to have to check it on that side. One solution for cold hands. Okay, after our cold water After swim. the cold water swim. Oh my God, that's amazing. huge downhill going on here so it can only mean that lunch is close by I don't know it should be hopeful but uh, yeah it's muddy it's hot under plastic it's a little bit irritating and uh, yeah about 14 kilometers in Hey, here's my house. That's where we came from, San Quirico. Yeah, those are the springs. Here's my house again. Terrible view. And uh, we'll do well in South Africa with uh, solar panels. We have uh, done a detour along this road. This is the official route down there is far too muddy so we are uh, going to go via Galena and uh, here's where the coffin is still a little uh, little. doesn't seem like it's getting any closer but anywho it's not raining my t-shirt's drying so all is good Oh, I just don't have a beer yet. Let's see here, Sprankan. No comment. Okay, Sprankan's got no comment. Right, so we've arrived in Rodokofani, uh, 32 kilometers from San Quirico. It takes you the long route all the way around um, and then up this monstrous climb into Rodokofani. <coughs> So <clears throat> the stage itself is too long and demanding for sure. Uh, difficult to split unless you um, overnight in Galena, which there's not very much there, and makes it quite difficult to get back on the, on the trail. So um, so yeah, so we are we here tomorrow to Aqua Pendente, which is about tw 24 kilometers all downhill. I'm going to see if I can get some drone footage now while it's not raining. But today the rain, the wind, the cold, uh, the mud, the incline, climb, um, yeah, not fun. Um, but this is beautiful. So I'll try and get some, some drone footage just to show you kind of what's going on here. 
man, these streets in Radicophony, they uh, are, I'm just trying to find my bearings on, on my GPS, but um, you can only kind of go one way and you have to go around, so there's no, you know, it's built in such a way that it's um, difficult to navigate, but, um, but who's complaining with a beautiful place like this? It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm happy to get lost, to be honest with you. I'm struggling to walk, but I'm happy to get lost. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can find what we're looking for. So, managed to get some good drone shots. Amazing. It's very quiet here, there's not a lot of people. Um, looking at me strangely, uh, police chasing me around etc. Um, that's where we came from, it's very peaceful here, um, there's lots of trees and um, yeah, love it, love it. Um, so you can see it from far away, you can see the tower right on the top um, from 30 kilometers away. Um, and you can see it kind of slowly getting closer and closer as you approach it um, and it's an amazing feeling when you eventually do make it up here so we're going to rest a bit and then we're going to come out see what the nightlife's about um, there's not much going on here it looks like there's one restaurant on the square so um, yeah that's where we'll be having some vino rosso yeah, lacquer